A new study published in the journal's Annals of Internal Medicine finds that the timing of meals may be just as important as calorie counting when it comes to losing weight. Well, there is a big debate on the effectiveness of intermittent fasting and how it helps people shed those extra pounds. So the study's lead author and dietitian, Shu Hao Lin, joins us live to explain. Good morning to you. Good morning. You know, I know a lot of people have at least heard of intermittent fasting, but kind of explain you know, what it is and how it works. Yeah, so intermittent fasting is a broad term that includes a lot of different types of fasting. Some involves fasting two days a week, some involves fasting every other day. What we studied here is called time restricted eating, which means you eat all your food within certain hours of the day. More specifically, we studied 16 8, where people eat within eight hours a day and fast from the rest of the day. We wanted to see how it compares to color restriction for weight loss. Okay, so let's talk about what your research shows, the difference between intermittent fasting and then counting calories. Can you tell which one seems to work better for people? Yeah, so our research actually indicates that intermittent fasting is equally effective for weight loss compared to counting calories. Both intermittent fasting and counting calories lead to similar amount of reduction in food intake, which also lead to around 10 pounds of weight loss in a year. Wow. Well, can intermittent fasting improve your health? Tell us about some of the pros and cons and what you should consider before trying it. Yeah, I will say the biggest advantage of intermittent fasting is they lead to the similar amount of weight loss. It's, it's simplicity. You don't have to write down what you're eating all the time. You don't have to read the food labels all the time. You just have to watch the time while losing weight and have all the health benefit that brings to you. The cons of intermittent fasting though is that with any diet, it takes some time to get into. Some people may experience some side effects like headache or dry mouth at the beginning, but it goes away pretty fast. Uh, another problem is that people have social events, so sometimes you may want to hang out with friends, have a drink on Saturday, uh, and that may be past your eating window. On average, our participants, they'll do intermittent fasting six out of seven days, so they can hang out with their friends on that one day. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, there has been some conflicting research and thoughts about intermittent fasting. Can you explain that? Yeah, so there's some conflicting research results that shows maybe eating more frequently is associated with better weight loss. However, those research are mainly observational, and the majority of the research showed that intermittent fasting is effective for weight loss by helping people eat less. It is also important to know that we have our dietitian meet with our participants pretty regularly during the study. So it may be beneficial to consider seeing a registered dietitian before you start the diet. All right, good to know. Thank you so much again, Shu Hao Lin. We appreciate you breaking it all down for us. Hopefully something will work mm -hmm. <laughs> just right. <We laughs> Whatever it takes to be healthy. Yeah.